Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of City Bus Manager with me, Tops. Um, just gone through, made sure all our buses are correctly numbered because I was counting them all up and we didn't have them all correctly numbered. As you can see, we've just purchased a brand new bus as well. So that is 44, I believe. If we go into bus fleet, we can actually have a look down the list. So 44, yeah, perfect. Oh, we've just got a brand new bus, which is great. Um, well, I say a brand new bus. We've got a brand new second-hand bus, which I'm about to get repaired. Everything done. Perfect. <laughs> we have expanded north. So expanding north means we can install the line. Well, let's just go off the... And we have expanded north. So, let's just pause it so I can have a look at the, the map now. So, we have expanded north, which isn't all the way we need to go. Sadly, we need to go north one more time to get the two areas. We need Fleetwood and Not End. Um, so, we should have that to explore north one more. And then we want to explore east as far as we can. And I don't know if pausing it like that did anything, but it cost us the money to do so. Uh, let's get the bus repaired. And we effectively have all but one, two, three, four bus routes that are Blackpool Transport. There is technically two more. So there's six bus routes that are Blackpool Transport that we haven't got in yet. Um, the other two being the seven. So we've got the, the 2C, uh, the 14. We need to expand the line one route. And we also need to get in the... So we need to expand the line one. We need to implement the 2C, the 14, 17 and 18. Uh, and that is all the default bus routes. And then Blackpool Transport recently took over routes that are Fleetwood and Cleveland to Preston, which are the 74 and 75. But we're going to kind of add them later. Uh, we're going to get all the major bus routes in, obviously up to the 18. Then we're going to move to non-Blackpool Transport routes um, and just go up in the numbers. Apart from, obviously, there's certain school bus routes there's this bus route there's a 12 we're gonna leave that out at the moment uh, okay so now our areas of expansion has gone through so obviously we now have fleetwood and uh not end we've started to go a bit more east as well which i believe this is kirkham um so we're not gonna we're gonna see what we can do with expanding more east in future but we'll leave it for where we are now um Final buses we need to add in to service will be for Blackpool Transport. We're going to be adding in the 2C, the 14, the 17, and the 18. So there are four more routes we're going to add in. Um, then we're going to go to non-Blackpool Transport buses, but are in the Blackpool area. Add them in under our transport network. And just go from there, really. So we're going to let the day go through. Um, we need to get another... We're getting 200,000 a day, which is crazy. Now, I'm actually going to go through and update bus tickets. Because uh, obviously we're getting a lot more people coming on the buses. But we're going to add the bus tickets to... The prices they currently... Well, I say the prices they currently are... Uh, obviously, recently, the bus prices have gone down to cheaper bus, cheaper, cheaper tickets um, to allow for the new government scheme that's going in. Um, but I want to implement our, the original price tickets uh, as if they weren't there. So the short distance tickets is £2.30. Uh, a single ticket, the maximum is at £2.90. And then it comes on to our day tickets, which day tickets now are £6.60, so that's a bit too much. £6.60. And then weekly tickets is... 
How much did I have it as? I had it to the uh, twenty five fifty, didn't I? Apparently our seven day tickets are eighteen fifty. So we're gonna do it as twenty eight fifty because we can. Um <laughs> Because obviously, if it's six pounds sixty times seven, it's forty six quid. But if you only use obviously five days a week, it's thirty three. So that's still saving you money by buying a weekly ticket and day tickets. Um, so we put the ticket prices up to try and get some more money coming in. We've got so much investments in buses and all that, which is a lot of money coming in. A lot of money going in, a lot of money coming out. Uh, obviously, we need to get these done to get more money. We need to sell 60,000 tickets to get that up, which is... We should be able to do that. No worries. Um, and if you've got... 43 buses... We need to get another 6, I believe, if you've got 43. So that's going to get all 3 done. So yeah, we've got another six buses here. Six bus spots we can uh, fill in um, and get all that done, which is perfect. But I was looking at the list of all the buses that Blackpool Transport have. Um, and we have... How many single deckers? If I have a look at the bus fleet. So these are the small uh, buses. We have 23 of them. Which we, which is four more than Blackpool Transport actually have, which is perfect because we will actually implement more of those buses. These kind of buses, we have 21, which is actually less than Blackpool Transport. Have Blackpool Transport have um, 24, so we need to get another lot of them, which we might get seven more. Um, because they will be utilised on other routes in future. But for the time being, it's fine with what we've got. And then, as for double deckers, we have Blackpool Transport have ninety eight. Now, I don't know if we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be able to get ninety eight double deckers, but we'll uh, definitely work on uh, implementing what we can. What I am gonna do is pause time. And because I'm going to get more of these buses, I'm going to just move these parking bays over to here. So when we purchase these more, these smaller buses, they will, which we're going to purchase, hopefully purchase next, they'll be able to go all here. I like being I like having the buses uniform in where they are all parked right so that'll be there how many of these buses are they so they're the Citroen C2 uh, the Citaro C2 brand new is 21,000 but to get seven of them we need 152,600 we get a second hand one Nah, we're not going to get the second hand. We're going to buy these brand new, straight off the straight off the shelf, brand new, and they're going to be implemented into there. Uh, we're going to focus on obviously double deckers, like I said. We'll let this one get cleaned up, painted up, and onto the network. Um, with that being said, of things going onto the network, seeing as though we now have this up here, we're going to update the line one. Uh, route which will then be implemented from tomorrow so let's edit the timetables the last bus stop is Aldi so then that gets deleted that gets deleted that gets deleted and that gets deleted so from here Gonna go to from Aldi. Gonna go to Dunes. Gonna implement these bus stops here. But then follow up north. 
this way. So that's Russell's school. That's there. Then we literally just follow it all the way up. Okay, so we're back. I remembered now correctly it goes this way. Carries on this way. Up to here. And then up to here. And it goes round this way. Up to... All the way up to the top here. To the ferry. To her. And make sure it doesn't go in those weird bits. Then it goes all the way around this way. And then into here. So hopefully it lets me add it to there, which it does. Then the actual bus stop is about here for it. Then it goes all the way back out to here. So that follows that. It's good. And then it goes up this route. Yeah, this road. And this way. So it goes to here. Because this is a weird one-way system, we'll still add it to that bus at that stop there. And back down this way. Then we're literally going following it all the way down to That one, this one, going down. Bit going down. Thornton Gate. Carry on through. And then Cleveland's. Perfect. Make sure that is the correct num number. And then it's all about editing the bus times again. So we need to figure out the, the turnaround point. So obviously it's Stargate. We have two minutes. Stargate, two minutes. Two minutes. Then we go down to Christie's. And another two minutes. Two minutes and two minutes. And then the next point is somewhere up north. Toy store is two minutes. seeing how long this is and then it goes all the way back down to best bites yeah which is one, 135 that's a lot of time 135 divided by 60 is two two hours over two hours um and they run every 20 minutes so while we're doing this we'll add a No, that's fine. We'll just have the two minutes on either side. Confirm it. If that's why we confirmed it, I need to... I want to double check to see what the timetable looks like. 
turntable preview. Yeah, that is quite crazy. And it starts off going south and it goes back north. So it effectively starts going north at, say, 20 past 5. It starts going back north. Um, when it gets back down to the end, it will be quarter past 7. So that means the next one will start at half past 7. So it's not the best kind of route, but it at least will be able to catch up on any time. And obviously it runs all the way till... Well, it gets back uh, just past midnight, which I'm absolutely fine with. Apparently, we did one of these, which is great. Um, but yeah, that is the line one editor to go all the way up here. We will be adding in the line 14, which will be the next number in the line, which just go up to Fleetwood. Um, so that is one that we will be adding in shortly. Um... But we need more buses for that. While this is all going on, is this finished yet? That is finished now. So as this is getting, f this is finished, we'll purchase the extra. Well, we're gonna need to purchase the extra six buses. And obviously, expanding the bus network, hopefully adding the line 14 in, will allow us to expand the route as well. Or the 2C. We're going to add the 2C in first. 2C first, then 14, because then it just makes more sense. Um, with that being said... Let me get it up on my second monitor. And this is where the line 2C starts. So, bus route. Line 2C. Keep it orange. Oh, they've actually got bus stops already up here. Which is quite nice. Then it goes down this way. Making sure I'm following the route it goes correctly. Goes to here. Goes down this way. Through pre -stroll. I've never actually done this bus route fully. Um, but obviously, it well, is a bus route, obviously. Goes down this way. Uh, okay. So we'll just follow this down to here, I believe. I think the bus stops here. Because I, I don't know how this route goes. Is that correct? No. It goes down to here. Then it goes down to here. And it follows this all the way down around this way. Around this way to Hambleton. Where it stops there. Then it follows this bus route bus this round. Down this way, over the bridge. And this way. Go from here, is it this way? Yep. And then I believe it goes this way here, because there's a one-way system around this way. Then it goes to this stop, this stop. And instead of the normal 2C that goes up this way, it goes round this way. So let's add all this going around here. Past this school. 
past, well, past this school, and then round this way. But instead of going out this way as that bus uh, that that does, it goes out this way. Down past this school here. Yeah, we'll do that one past her. This way, and then the original route as the two goes this way. That's nice. And then all the way through the town center as usual. Stop in there, stop in there. There. Back around this way. Back the way up. It's a fairly long journey compared to the other one. But apart from that, it is a good journey. That lakeway, there we go. Put it back over to her. Her. Up to her. Up to there. There. To follow this back around this way. Now, I don't know why they changed, because the two used to go the original way the Line 2C goes to Polton. But obviously, for some reason, they decided to change the route it goes, and it goes this way now. Go. All the way up this way. And this is a very nice sandwich shop. It's a very nice sandwich shop. Anyway, now it goes in this way to Polton, but instead of going up to here, it goes up this way, past the train station, which is here. We'll stop it there on the way up, and then we can just follow the bus route near enough on the way back. All the way around this way. Now these are every half an hour, every hour. Well, I believe I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna make this every half an hour, every hour, and make the other bus, the other line to every hour, as well, just for continuity of the buses being all the same as they are. Oh, this bus stop, I don't like. Uh, what's the bus stop after it be called? Bus stop. Okay, so what's this bus stop called before it? Village News. Where is it? Village News. Delete that bus stop. So it doesn't stop there anymore. It just goes all the way up to to here. To here. Oh, this route again. Oh. Sorry, what?
Then it goes there. I'm really confused. Oh, I'm being silly. Delete that. Delete that. Village news bus stop. Ableton Pharmacy. Grub Shack. Right, that's correct. Um, I need to go all the way down to Village News this way. And then this is where it goes back this way, okay. I hope I haven't messed this up. It looks like it's overlapping already. Where is Village News? Yes, that's where it's messed up. Village News. So it goes Village News, Rycroft Hall, Pharmacy, yeah. Okay, that's all sorted. So Village News, bus stop, up here. Got that sorted now, perfect. And now we just follow this route all the way back up. Go. I'm going through. And then up to here. And then to there. Now, I have absolutely no idea how it turns around here, but it goes to there and turns around somehow. And that is the line 2C. Go to advanced settings. And it'll start at... Got to pass the hour all the way till ten. Day one. This is a very long system, but we're literally only looking for one stop in the middle. It's here. Where we're going to add three minutes to the bus time, and then it'll be every hour and a half, it'll be up there. So I'm actually going to make it every 30 minutes then. No, we're going to make it every, half, every hour for the start, but for the first bus. Which will literally only be one. Make sure we get to. There for the second time. Weekday two. So it'll be 45. To 45 and it'll be every half an hour. And then weekday three. 
We're actually just gonna do it the week day. To every hour after. Forty-five to nine forty-five. Did we had the extra time on. We got this preview timetable, so it's literally every, half an hour, and then every thirty minutes, which is good. And then it lined up that. Why is it? Hang on. Four. Why is it finish at four a.m. Oh, because this one. There we go. So, by the time it finishes, it'll just be before midnight and go back to the depot. Which is great. And then we now need to need to do the weekend times. So, weekend... Start off at 15, 6.15 to 10.15 every hour. Three minutes there. Perfect. That would be the line 2C starting tomorrow. Um, Didn't realise I was painting a bus. A three eight three. Why did that happen? Eight three eight three eight three. Eight three eight three eight three. Import. There we go. Apply. Uh, and like I say, these buses are starting to come in down here as well, so I can start clearing up all the buses. Make sure everything is all cleaned and ready for the next day's service. And with what money I have left, I can purchase some new buses. So I have 100... We've, we nearly made 300,000 in one day. That is crazy. Let me just pause it. Bus fleet. No, uh, marketplace. There's no second hand, so... Go straight to purchase, and how much can we buy for what we've got? Five. There we go. Import that one. Perfect. And then I just need to rename them all. Uh, so it was 43 was the last one, I believe. Yeah, 43. So, let's get these 44, oh, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, Is that them all? I think so. Have a quick look. Go into the 40s. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we should have every bus stop, uh, every parking space uh, taken up then. Which is amazing. And I'm going to go through and clean all these buses. And once all these buses are clean, and it's ready for the next day, we're going to be able to add in the next lot. 
all cleaners are busy. Okay, so yeah, once the once all the buses are back from the day, hopefully this extra line 2C will get us this bonus. If it doesn't, we can always get the 14 on um, to go. But we will probably need to assign all the buses, which I'm going to do right now. And welcome, everyone. As you can see, we are on the next day. Buses are going out th thick and fast. Um, everything has been uh, cleaned on the inside. A few buses had to be repaired on the ins uh, repaired as well. Uh, we've got an 84% willingness of the population to use the transport, which is amazing. Um, let's have a look at all the buses en route right now. Um, obviously, there's going to be some new bus stops that I've employed that haven't been updated yet. But that's fine. I spent so much money on updates. It was... It's insane. Anyway, this is the brand new line two. We're going to have a look at all the routes. Being that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten routes in service, which is insane. The line one got extended. The line two C got added. Um... Now we've got the next, we've got the line 14, 17, and 18 to add. Uh, and then that'll be all of the original Blackpool Transport routes uh, in. Uh, not, like I say, not including the 74 and the 75, which are, which I think we, t I can't remember what, what bus service um, struggled. Or what, a, a company folded, they lost the contract to the, the buses, uh, and Blackpool Transport took them over, to, or took some of them over. Um, the Preston Transport took some of them over as well. And, and all, there was all sorts as well. But obviously, this is the first bus of the day, which is not bad at all. It's getting a decent amount of passengers. It's not getting too many. It's not getting too packed. The Line 3 and 4 are getting packed as usual. They stay with those buses. That's what their buses are. Um, nothing we can do about that. But obviously, this is the first time it's getting into town. It's getting into town about 20 past six. It's its first time, and it's getting absolutely packed on the way back out. So, that is a that is a bit, uh, well, a bit of a problem if the Line 2C is getting packed. So line 2s are getting packed. Line 2Cs aren't getting too packed, but obviously, they've only just really started running. Um... Well, obviously, all the all the buses on double deckers. The line two C I've had to stick on the last bus of the day is a single decker because we don't have enough double deckers to cover it. Uh, but we will be purchasing more double deckers soon, uh, and also, um, yeah, we'll be purchasing more double deckers soon. I, I think we've got two bus stop spaces for it already. Um, but apart from that, this is going pretty well. Everything is getting utilised very well. Everything's getting. Some of them are getting packed. Some of them aren't getting packed. The line two and the three, the three and the four are going to automatically always get packed because they're the smaller buses. That is just w what they do. Um, we will never extend them to other buses, but obviously every other bus net bus service is on double deckers, apart from the line six, which is on the the long wheelbase short uh, single deckers. Which is absolutely fine. And this bus service is going amazing. It's going absolutely amazing. We've got a lot of buses already out. We have two spaces here for two brand new buses. And we're about to hit enough to get it. Uh, increase the bus network. We haven't actually got the bus network increased um, to what we would hope. So that is uh, definitely a thing we're going to have to work for. The sale of 60,000 tickets is uh, a lot as well. Yesterday we made 305,000 thousand in a day investments construction costs yeah because i added two new bays because we could have two new bays here uh which would be the two new buses that we can purchase right now so let me make sure go to bus fleet the bus fleet that i need is it is the other one buy brand new buses oh can we get second hand if we get second hand that's even better it saves us a bit more money, but there's nothing secondhand for us that we want. Buy two brand new ones. Make sure they're the correct colour. Import the paint scheme. And there we go. 
So I think that'll be number 50 and 51 of the double deckers. Just have a look at the bus fleet numbers. So we have 49, yeah, 50 and 51. That is uh, amazing that we've got 50 buses, 50 double decker buses. Tops D50. And Tops D51. And with that, the brand new in, we can literally just go to pause it, go to the. Where is that bus? There we go. That line two. See, we can take off there and implement it on one of these brand new buses. So they're all going to be double deckers anyway. It's great. And then we've got a, not one single double decker by itself, we, which means we're going to have to buy another seven if we're going to implement the line 14 tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we should have enough buses now. We will obviously buy more short wheelbases for a long wheelbase single deckers for the 74 and 75 when we get that. Uh, I don't know why time is paused. But we do need to obviously extend the bus routes, which will mean adding in the uh, line 14. The line one, the extended line one's not doing bad actually. How often is the line one? Because it seems weird that there's only one up here and then one going on the way back. Is that another one going up there as well? Let's just edit the timetable. Time uh, it's every 20 minutes. That's fine. Perfectly fine. The utilizations are going pretty much perfectly with all the butters. We just need to add in the line 14. Um, which the new route, the 14K, it, take, it goes this way up and through Thornton. However way it goes through Thornton and up this way. And I think it goes that way instead of that way. So we'll figure that out when it comes to it. But that should hopefully end up being 63% of the bus uh, network. But right now we have so much of the network uh, ex purchased. We need to obviously expand the last towards the east. Um, in hopes that we will be able to add in extra buses that we need to. Uh, if we can add in the 74 and 75, that is, because sometimes um, the the bus route we might need or the road we might need might not extend that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let it run to the end of the day. And once it's run to the end of the day, we'll see how much we've made today completely because the only investments I've done is literally... Oh, I bought, I bought the buses, didn't I? Anyway, we'll be able to see how much we've made in a day today with the extended bus route the extra 2c uh the bus price is going up the tickets going up and everything this is still absolutely rammed which there's nothing we can do how much is the waiting time 40 minute waiting time um nothing we can do about all that sadly but it's going well we're expanding it all it's going very well uh i'll see you at the end of the day and we're back so i'm just sending some i've cleaned all the buses just sending them for some regular fueling and stuff but we made near enough just to under 200 000, uh, just under 300,000 in a day buses are starting to need to be assigned for the next day um and i also need to purchase some more buses because we've got enough to purchase another seven i should have enough to purchase another seven I'm just under. We'll purchase another six. Make sure the colours are correct. The outside paint job is correct. And let's get that imported. And, um... Yeah, so that means we will have enough to do a new bus route, which we'll probably start on the Monday. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to yesterday, copy all of the buses from yesterday and see if I can paste them in. Yeah, perfect. Everything got pasted in. Nice. So there's no job for me for doing bus times. So that means I could just send them on the way. Um, obviously, I will start numbering the new buses. Um, we'll get our next bus in when we can. But obviously, when buses need fixing and repairing and fueling and cleaning, I'll get them done along the way as well. But like I say, everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed again. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a like if you've enjoyed. And if you have, obviously, I will hopefully see you and see you for the next video.